All right, so we are going to make gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread cookies. Yay. All right, so we need butter. Got it. An egg. Got it. And a tablespoon of water. And we will need a bowl as well. First, preheat the oven to 375. Also, this lighting is really bad. Do I just quick start? Yes. First, stir cookie mix, softened butter, water, and egg in a medium bowl until soft. Do you know how to crack an egg and put it in? Uh, you should do that. Should I do this? Tablespoon of water. Tablespoon of water. What's next? Uh, we gotta put it in the softened butter. Butter. How much butter does it say? It doesn't. It said softened butter. It says a half a cup right there. Half a cup of butter. That whole cup needs to be full, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> Got butter everywhere. Have you ever made gingerbread cookies before? Uh, no. Have made any cakes before? No. All right. Now we can mix. We don't have a blender, so we're gonna have to hand mix it. It looks like really bad scrambled eggs right now. Ooh. It's this makes me want a gingerbread latte from Starbucks. Okay, which now that I mentioned it, I want coffee. <laughs> oh my god, this smells amazing. You mix a little. Actually, no. Hold on. I don't want you to get that everywhere. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. I'll mix most of it in, and then you can mix a little more. No, it's okay. Nope, it's getting harder for me to mix now. We are going to make a mess. Cookie mix, softened butter, water, and egg in medium ball until soft dough forms. Shape dough into one inch balls. I can't shape that into anything because it's extremely sticky. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add... It's uh, flying flour. <laughs> I was patting it down and it squirted up like a volcano. <laughs> I'm having fun. Why are you having fun? Can you take that flour thing and pour a little bit more onto it? Pouring me a little bit more onto what? Onto this. Yeah. Ah! You're taking forever. Oh, boo hoo. All the who's down in Cooville will crawl, cry. Boo hoo. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off of my. It is so freaking sticky still. Can you get a spoon and <laughs> scoop it off? It's gingerbread cookies. What do you expect it to look like? Please don't fling that out of the bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands real quick, see if I can fix this. <laughs> it feels so slimy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like looking at the pre-made sugar cookies like, this would be so much easier. I could have had these be done by now. That's what he's thinking. I could have cookies already. Well, you know what? You should have made them yourself. So first we're going to prep the cookie sheet with some spray. And I like using this one because it is for is non-stick cooking spray, but it comes with flour. So it makes it easier for the cookies to come off. Then you take your gingerbread man cookie cutter and you cut. He looks like he's going, ah! He does look like that, doesn't he? He looks like he's going, ah! <laughs> You broke his arm. <laughs> no, I broke And his, his leg. I, I twisted his arm and I broke his leg. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to run away. They're all going, help me! Alright, I'm gonna do like one more of these. <laughs> and then we're just gonna make round the balls. <laughs> Mickey, let go. He's like, no, don't take me! I can't get him off! Nope, he's, he's, he's... Oh, there goes he's his head! Okay. Oh, it's the headless Mickey! Mickey's dead. I thought you knew how to make gingerbread cookies, too. So how big are you supposed to make the balls? An inch. <laughs> I was never good at math. We're counting? We're measuring? Yes. So this is the mess that we made. 
Um, we're gonna clean this up. The cookies, that's what they look like. They're in there and they are going to bake for a little bit. Um, so that cookie is huge, oh my god. So we're gonna clean up our mess before we come back. Okay, so while Jared is washing dishes in the background, I am going to start on our royal icing. So what you need is what they call icing sugar, but it's kind of basically powdered sugar. Um, vanilla extract, I don't know if you could even see that, it's right there. And an egg, which I need to get, and a little bit of water. Oh, an egg white, okay, so that's a little more difficult, but I know how to get just the egg white. Be just be very careful. Half a teaspoon. Boop. Done. Half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup. And then how much water was it? And then it says two teaspoons of water, but I poured it into the same all right, now we're gonna mix this baby. What, what are you doing? I'm poking it to see if the inside still sticks to the thing, if it still goes. Not a little. I put them, they're just a little over an inch. It's, that's, that's correct. It's a little over half a foot. It's not a half a foot. They look like little round plump cookies. They look adorable. I'm not, little... I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. It's just it might have to be more than eight to ten minutes to get cooked all the way through to the middle of it. <laughs> this is really liquidy. So I found out why my cut my cutouts for Mickey didn't work is I didn't refrigerate first and then make it a two inch cookie. He was very small. So <laughs> so the I added a little more powdered sugar because it wasn't very thick. It's still not very thick. Now I'm going to make some different colors. Right. This one will be green for Jared. No, I just pour it in. Ooh. Pour it in a little bit. I don't know how much I should really use. Ooh, this is gonna be a oh, this is gonna be a nice green. This could be good for Grinch cookies. That looks mixed up enough, don't you think? That's a good color. I actually really like using gel icings. Now, pour a little there. I really want this to be like a good red. It's gonna be a nice, deep red. Oh, this is exciting. For whatever reason, this one on this tray, the bottoms are burnt, but the inside is really, really doughy. You can kind of see it wet. But like this one, we goes off of this one. No, actually it was on this one. The bottoms are fine, more or less, and only the, a little itty bitty bit on the inside is still doughy. So I don't know what to tell you. At least our little Mickey Mouse cookies are fine. So you can kind of tell where I decapitated him. Don't cut them all in half. I'm pouring icing on them. It's still really liquidy. I have no idea why. There's more icing on the plate than there are on the cookies. Oh my gosh. You know, I've made this icing recipe before and it was fine. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. The cookies taste good. The icing tastes good. That's okay. Hit the thumbs up if you thought this video was entertaining. Um, <laughs> comment below. Have you used Betty, that same Betty Crocker uh, instant cookie mix? How well did it work for you? Did it, did you actually follow the directions? Like unlike we did. Unlike we did. Unlike um, she did. Unlike she did. And have you you made royal icing like that before? And did it do what mine did? I'm gonna go eat a bunch of cookies now, coated in icing. It looks like we took them to the kids' choice award, and they were slimed. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've watched Nickelodeon. I'm pretty sure that's where that recipe came from. <laughs>